Check to see if she's biting it. Should I check? Um, should I check? I'm scared to check. Ah! Mm. I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm so scared. What if it comes up that the two sims of this household are pregnant? She's pregnant. She's pregnant. The university pregnancy of it all. Hi guys and welcome back to yet another sims 2 stream i am live right now on twitch.tv slash acolonsoft there's always a link in the description box below and tonight we are going to be playing some sims 2 all of our pleasant view graduates most of them have already graduated we have one rotation one university left if you don't know i recapped it in the last episode this is going to be kind of a continuation of the last episode in this playlist so in the last episode we sent katie kearney who is a downtown name dirk dreamer who is a Pleasant View kid, and Tessa Ramirez. Tessa Ramirez from Blue Water Village. We sent them all to university. They went to Sim State University. Now, I have never played this way before, but this way I am playing three different universities at one time. So I did Academy Latour, which is, I've already played this, so we are all finished. We played it in the last stream, but I finished it off stream. And then tonight we're playing Lafayette Tech. Now, there's something weird that happened with Lafayette Tech. So Lilith, my Lilith, which is so strange, wanted to go into a sorority? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> um, yeah, let's t pose out. <laughs> Gotta love that. Anyway, so uh, in the main dorms here, we have Lucy with her girlfriend Ivy Kapoor, and then we have Lilith's boyfriend who is Curtis. Not the pink suit. They're like t posed out. I don't know. I I have no explanation. <laughs> They're all like t posed out in pink. <laughs> <laughs> posture check thank you thank you well i appreciate it my back needs a my back sounds like that when i stand straight up oh that's funny their t-pose like dawn in that sound effect love that anyway so lilith which is so weird i never expected lilith to be a university or a sorority girly but here she is like she is a sorority girly lo and behold so here she is i gave her some piercings because i think she looks so good i love this new look on lilith like just absolutely stunning she really is she's like one of my favorite sims i think in pleasant view if not my favorite sim um lilith is bisexual in my game and she's living with a bunch of girlies so maybe something will happen as far as i know though nothing interesting has really been happening with lilith like it's very much so all the same stuff lilith is the only one in the sorority for one thing oh yeah she's only in the sorority for one thing exactly for the girlies for the girlies so these are her sorority sisters. I don't know anything about these people. These people are like are already here. Um, but her name is Monica Bradford. She wanted to buy new clothes. So now she has like nice new clothes. Not this outfit. This is not. What is? Excuse. I know that's not her coochie, but I don't know what EA was thinking with that texture there. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Lilith is here with her sorority sisters. Whoa, I know, like, what is that texture? Why did they make that texture? Not you zooming into her cooch, but like, why Why did they make that texture right specifically there? I, I don't know. Kind of whack how EA forces us to have them in our households. I hate that, right? Like, I wish it was like a Sims 3 uni thing where they are still in my household. They're still advancing, but I didn't have to play them. I hate it. Maddie, this might be the one of the most iconic households in LFT or Lafayette Tech that you're playing right now. Is it really? I know that like, they're really party sisters. I know that that they love to party and all that kind of stuff. So the sad thing is though, is Monica and all of them, in fact, are, they're straight. Like no one's bi, no one's lesbian. They're all straight in this household. So, oh, Lucy Hanby is the maid. I was like, what the hell? Lucy Hanby, but she's the maid. Okay, so the Lucy Hanby is bisexual. The more you know. Okay, let's check everyone else. I don't know if I actually checked everyone else. So this is the cheerleader. She's not, she doesn't have a sexuality. Lilith is bi though. Sarah's straight. Monica is straight low. And Curtis, Curtis, by the way. Okay, so I should do a little recap. So Lilith, right? She had a guy. She went to this teen hangout and she met this guy named Curtis. So this is Curtis right here. He's a downtowny actually. And she hit it off with him like a lot she obviously is with dirk but dirk is like literally engaged to another woman so i don't know how that's working out but i think i'm gonna have lilith and dirk break it off and then have her go out with curtis or with someone else because i don't like the idea of lilith and dirk like i, I mean dirk already is with katie kearney and i love katie kearney check his sexuality yeah curtis is straight lucy hanby is here too yes yeah, she's uh she's our maid in this household um but anyway i think when she ages up to an adult, I'm gonna ask Dirk just to be friends. And I do have that mod that lets you do like ask to be friends so that they aren't romantically acquainted with each other anymore. But Dirk is currently, uh, his his girlfriend, Katie Kearney is pregnant. So he's gonna be a dad soon, which is crazy. And I don't know, I just don't feel like all the Pleasant View teens would end up together. 
because Ansel and Dustin, like they are completely different people and I don't see them ever ending up like in real life. If they were like a really couple, they would not last past high school. I also don't see Lilith and Dirk. I mean, I see Lilith and Dirk lasting longer than Angela and Dustin. Like Angela and Dustin's a weird coupling. Yeah, that is, uh, that's the sorority household. So I'm gonna show you guys the dorm household. So I'm playing these households in Lafayette Tech back to back. Monica's definitely trying to get something. She's straight low, so she could be, she, she's like almost bi. She's almost, you know, plays both teams. Would you do a Sims 2 mod master list? I use all the Pleasant Sims is like mods. So I don't even know if it'd be worth it for me to do a mod smash list because everything I use, she uses questioning or whatever. Yes. If you go along with the idea that Angela is a shit starter and a low key bad person, I see her with Dustin. I think that Angela, I like Angela to kind of, she's a secondary romance in my game. So most of the time she gets around too. Um, anyway, here's the dorms. This is the, I don't know what this dorm is called. I don't really like this dorm. I kind of renovated a little bit though. So I added some computers here, added a nice TV and yeah, it's nice. So Curtis lives in here. Curtis, if you remember, we just saw him over at the sorority household. They're also all sick, which is just great. But yeah, we saw him over at the sorority household so he is currently romantically interested in with Lilith now if you're wondering why I brought them in to this household because it's kind of weird that I just bring in random downtownies it's because I will only oh my god really I love the dorm sometimes but like why is everyone always fighting why why everyone there's always some sort of fight or shit happening in this dorm or any dorm beat his ass oh my god both mascots are wrestling each other that's kind of iconic okay not the mascot on mascot wwe tournament in the lobby i, I, I love that i love that but i what I, one thing i love about downtownies is they all come with like skills and stuff so it's really nice um curtis so this would be lilith's boyfriend he's knowledge and pleasure and then ivy copper we all know ivy copper oh they're just macking on each other in the kitchen next to the uh cooking person the cafeteria lady um but actually lucy had a wish to propose to ivy copper so they're currently engaged i thought that was so cute they got engaged in university ivy is a i think she's a pleasant view townie actually i don't think she's a downtowny. um but yeah here she is she's in her little robe right now and then we have lucy so uh ivy's the local psychiatrist in my game that's funny that that chef works 20 hour days she does she leaves at like midnight and comes back in at like 4 a.m oh we have we have bugs oh wow okay um let's call let's call some services i hate how i pay for the services good call she's a pleasant view townie famous for sharing a name with another adult townie yeah so there's two ivy copers i made that mistake of grabbing the adult one and I was like, why is she an adult? And I was like, oh, there's probably two of them, isn't there? There's two Ivy Copers in Pleasant View. Um, but I got the teen one because I had, once again, Lucy went to the teen hangout and Ivy showed up and she was like lusting over her super hard. So yeah, those are the two households that I'm playing in Lafayette Tech. So we're gonna have to split it up a little bit. Uh, Lucy is a drama major, which I love. I love the fact that she's a drama major. Get out, bitch. I clean this bathroom first. She's a drama major. And then both Ivy and Curtis are mathematics majors. And then I think Lilith is actually a um, drama major. So yeah, that's what everyone's majoring in. Now, how I'm going to do this, I think, is I'm going to play like one. Okay, what I think we should do is I need to catch up Lilith with the rest of the teenagers. So I know Ivy and Curtis are both about to be juniors so i know lilith is like significantly behind them i think she's like only a sophomore or something so we're gonna go over and play the sorority sisters household i don't really so far i will say i've had a very lukewarm feeling about the sororities and fraternities i kind of like the fact that um they are right next to each other i do like that because i can just like invite the guys over um but here's all that here's the sorority household also, my shorter semesters mod doesn't work with the sorority sisters. I think I have to re-enroll them or something, or maybe it has to tick over to the next semester in order to be the shorter semesters. Um, but yeah, they've been freshmen or sophomores for such a long time. I think most of them are freshmen. Yeah, they have been freshmen for such a long time. Whereas Lilith literally just got here and she's already almost in her third year or almost done with her third year. So it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. I'm going to delete these flowers. I don't know whose flowers these are. Who's flower? Are these? I can't help but wonder if those are Lilith's flowers. Let's have uh, this girl go check. I don't know her name. Jessie. Jessie Pyferson. Oh, it's, yeah, it's from Curtis. They went on a date. Okay, I'm going to delete that. Whatever. Okay, so what should we do? She wants to throw a toga party. Should we do? Oh, they this is so weird. So does anyone know why this happens? They keep coming back to the sorority house with pizza. And they, it's just like visit campus up here and then they come back and they have an entire pizza. I don't know why they do that. If that's like a university thing, but it's so bizarre. I've never seen that before. I found it, Maddie. You found, you found it, Goopy. 
I don't even know which one. I don't know. I don't even know what outfit you were talking about. I'm not even gonna lie. If you showed me, I could probably tell you. But off the top of my head, I have no idea what you're talking about. Look at these two pizzas. I don't know why they keep coming back with pizza. Like, it's great because I don't have to cook anything. But damn, it's wow. I'm craving pizza. This looks really good, doesn't it? I might have to get some like after stream because that looks that looks that looks real good. I'm going to say good night to spooky your love is stunning thank you i try i try to give her like an edgy look also because she's like a drama kid you know like she, she's artsy she's our kid these 2000 girlies are hungry okay um let's go oh she's cleaning up monica's like really good she she cleans up does all this kind of stuff i'm trying not to like pay attention too much to the other people in our household but I would like them to advance, you know, and not like flunk out. So I think I'm gonna, I don't know why she wants to get charisma and body skill. Like, what is that? Why does she want to get charisma and body skill if they aren't even applicable to this? Um, okay, maybe I'll have her go and study some mechanical. I hate having to worry about these other people. Who is this? Kevin? Kevin? Okay, she wants to woohoo with a guy. So maybe go out here and talk to him. She's like desperate for anything. This poor girl, Jessie, she just, she gets to uni and she just wants to explore sexually at least okay i think i might have her woohoo with this guy because she wants to woohoo what does she think about him let's see if she likes him do you like him yeah you're stinky i'll still like you though okay go oh she's vomiting okay never mind skedaddle doodle thank you for the sub with prime i appreciate it skedaddle doodle okay dj i really like dj i think she's a really good friend for lilith i don't know why but she i just like her she's cool go take a shower according to the sims wiki all sims agree causes automatically come back with pizzas i don't know like well, i don't know what that is though like what is the what is the reason i know i was still paying for prime whoops well you get a free you get a free twitch sub with it so i mean that's a that's a positive one thing i hate about the sorority house is there's only one bathroom and i would build another bathroom but i don't want to waste my own money to build it so whatever uh, okay you need to go downstairs she wants to throw a toga party we can do that i want to see like what the toga parties and stuff are all about I know these girls are very heavy par partiers, party goers, party hosts. She wants to throw. Why don't we have her do it if she wants to throw? Okay, go and throw a party. We're gonna throw a toga party. Now I've never thrown a toga party before in The Sims 2, so this is gonna be really interesting. Never have done this. This is something I came to the university. Don't ever think it came back. Never, never came back. So this is like a one and done. We can throw eight. We can invite eight guests. Um. We can invite the perfect that's so strange okay go and ashley ashley is in the uh fraternity house I think next to us i like i like how the sorority girls and the fraternity guys they commingle with each other i guess anyway let's have the party oh look at that everyone's changing their togas it's so cool i personally don't play with the greek houses it's in the sims 3 Purator you know oh is it really i never knew that i've never used it i never used it I personally never played with the Greek houses. I never knew they existed. Yeah, sometimes your Sims, your Sims will get like wishes to go in. Um, I don't know, go in, you know, join a sorority. So I'm like, fine, go and join it. Um, so anyway, we need to have, she wants to be friends with Dirk. We could invite Dirk to this party, but I'm not going to. Let's just, let's just commingle with everybody here. Also, Jesse, when you, when you load this household, Jesse has a romance with Matthew. He's really cute. These guys are really cute. So here he is. They're all like fraternity guys though. So they're probably fuck boys to be honest. They're really good looking. They really are good looking. Lilith changed into her little toga here. How cute. I'm gonna have her go and say hi to these guys. Wait, does she have bolts with them? Let's see if she has bolts or if she's even interested in these guys at all. The the sorority guys, the fraternity guys. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay, what do you think of him stop watching tv go go what do you think of him let's see what do you think of matthew stop check him out keep him out i love her um her little green hair and with the with the toga robe it's so cute oh she likes him she's friends with him too what if we do like a quick like one and done sort of hookup wouldn't that be fun oh oh okay sarah um I wasn't expecting. Okay, they just ACR, dude. ACR. Wow, these parties already getting crazy. Wow, she wants to go on a date with Matthew. Isn't that funny? Okay, we can we can go on a date with Matthew. Threesome. I can't believe that that just happened. Seriously. Okay, let's have Jesse come down here. We're gonna have Jesse go and talk to uh, Ashley. 
Let's see if she likes him. Check check him out. What is? I need to see her turn ons too to see what kind of guy, what kind of guy she wants. Um, go and check him out. See if you like him. You see how working it's magic. I know. Um. Okay. Let's see. Um, what is Lilith doing? Lilith's taking a bath. She does not give a fuck about this party. She finds Matthew, though, really attractive, which is so funny because her fellow sorority sister has been banging Matthew. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. She's gonna fuck over her sorority sister. Okay, let's go in. Uh, oh, she, oh, she like, ACR, bitch. I love this mod so much. Dude, I didn't even, they're having their first kiss at this party. <laughs> it's such like a wow university is so exciting it really is holy oh, shit <laughs> amazing okay well that happened awfully fast okay she wants to um ask him out on a date sure go ask him out on a date then i guess we'll be friends with him actually why don't you go woo with him Let's woohoo with him because she has a want, a want to woohoo. So go and woohoo on the bed. He's a romance sim. Of course he is. Of course. Oh, she can't get upstairs. Okay, she's good. Monica has been reading this mechanical book this entire time. I feel kind of bad. She has not been able to enjoy this party at all. Sorry, Monica. I apologize. The party's going really good, though. Okay, Jessie's going to have her first woohoo on Lilith's bed. Gotta love that just wonderful he's so he's so good looking though all right let's go and move with him lots of sorority things happening party things monica's waiting for you to talk to her i should have him talk huh hmm um let's have them go and chat then you know she has been Dude, I swear, ACR is insane. Also, her lipstick is horrendous. Wow, it's too light. Her lipstick. If I gave her a darker lipstick, it'd be cute. Wow, just so much love. ACR is going ham. Going ham tonight. Okay, cool. This is like such a college party, though. Like, everyone's like cooking up. That lipstick is a choice. No, really, it is. Okay, so she had her first woo for the first time. Congrats, Jesse. She's a romance sim, so I think her and Ashley are gonna be perfect together. Perfect combo. His mustache is gross. I don't know what she sees in him, but hey, night party is enabling lots of loving for the town, so that's great. Um, oh, she doesn't want a back row. Okay, why don't you go and let's see if Monica, if she finds her attractive at all. Check on. Oh, oh, she does not like her. Mm. She gave her a thumbs down. Lilith does, is not into. Mm. I don't think Lilith's too fond of Monica. Okay. Well, in that case, let's just have her keep uh, eating some food and stuff. Also, day 5000 reminding Maddie that you can manually set some to woohoo and underwear. Oh, really? So YouTube and Twitch don't throw a fit about the nudity? Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I know that this is a problem. I've never had problems, but I know Pleasant Sims was saying that she had a problem with it. I feel like we should turn that on. I did my sister dirty with that lipstick. Monica's me at every social event. She's like chilling. She's 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 going to the uh, places where there isn't much, many people. It's an ACR global overrides. Let me check. Um, just certain. No, it's not there. Hoodwad settings, global overrides, dress, naked undies or casual. Is it here? Do I send it? Send it for undies? I guess so. Um, okay, so my risk is at 15%. My time is power is only at 2% or two times and people are going crazy with it, which is nice. Okay, so we're good. She's taking a bath. The party's about to end. This was like kind of a crazy party. Oh my God. <sighs> Another pizza. They always come back with pizza. They always come back with pizza. What are you doing, Lilith? Where are you running? Hello? Hello? Where are you going? Okay, wait, I want to ask. I want to have her ask Matthew. Wait, who else wasn't? Oh, she's on a date right okay let's um oh they are just getting it on i'm gonna okay good time nice i'm gonna have her end that date so that we can have lilith go on a date with this matthew guy she likes him and she wants to ask him out on a date so I, I i will that pizza thing is so weird it happens so often like it's crazy wait are we gonna have to call him on the phone i guess we're gonna have to call him on the phone he just dipped he just left all right let's go and ask what's his name Matthew. Matthew out on a date. 
and community law or home um wasn't someone already hooking up with him or no that's someone else okay we'll do it we'll do it at home and we'll see we'll see if we can have them have a nice date here i can i also have pregnancy on for universities so don't ask me how that's gonna work i don't know like if my my sims can obviously get pregnant here at university um but it hasn't worked yet and i've had like two try for babies so i, I don't know what's happening all right matthew's here she wants to go and eat with him it's like one in the morning where are you gonna go and eat go and tell him a joke just have a nice date let's pillow fight with him she wants to be friends with dirk too that's mm, guilty conscience guilty conscience just like thinking about zerk in the back of her head oh that's nice sarah and dj who are the sorority sisters of lilith are just chatting with each other i'm gonna send everyone to go to bed go to sleep go to sleep it's sleep time go to sleep i'm not loving the fact that i have to control everyone else in this house i wish it was just like lilith i had to control and the rest of them i didn't have to like manually you know do things with them but seems like a kind of an oversight it's like it kind of really turns me off to playing sorority houses but i'm gonna have to micromanage everybody oh look at that now they're having a crush on each other lovely what about um play with liliths okay so we'll what do we want to do tickle yes let's be best friends with her it's kind of cute joke joke what is her bolt with him she only has one bowl okay this is not gonna work out because i only have sims that are like two bolts and above get romantically interested and like actually take it far with each other uh he wants to he's scared of falling out of love oh she does not really care she does not care about this guy i think she sees him as like a hookup to be honest i think she sees him as a hookup this toilet is like atrocious we need lucy hanby here it's really hard to find cc for sims especially specific things i agree like i if i have a specific oh we have a final exams and five hours for most of these girls sarah go to bed my girl go to bed i was gonna say i was finding i was looking for a closet um like a like a closet like these sims 2 closets you guys know what i'm talking about sims 2 has really nice closets that will auto slot onto the walls and it will also make like these kind of closets i think that these are so nice i wanted something like that for the sims 3 but i couldn't find it um and i had to search really hard to find something like that so yeah it's hard to find specific things at times anyway okay time to sleep everyone has their finals in the morning so i hope they're all sleeping i think i have enough beds yeah i definitely do i gave lilith the double bed uh but everyone is ending up she just vomited um i hope that she isn't what i think she is i think she's i think she's i think she's pregnant i think she's pregnant she just vomited the last guy she woohooed with was curtis uh her needs are going down really fast oh no <laughs> she's in college and she's pregnant no no oh no oh wow okay going to uh i am i am out of words i am she just vomited again no! this is literally the worst timing ever of her possibly being pregnant oh my god are you fucking kidding me the worst timing the were okay i need you to leave i'm sorry that this was a bad date but like holy shit holy shit whose baby is it it is curtis's curtis guy oh wow i don't know what to do sarah has woohooed like five times i would not be shocked if she was actually pregnant baby toyunga omg i know actually just wow i am out of words it wouldn't be uni if someone didn't get pregnant true true baby pleasant baby pleasant on the way i actually really do like her and curtis together i think they're a really cute couple um and he seems really committed to her i mean we'll play with him in like shortly like we'll switch over to the dorm household check to see if she's ready should i check um should i check i'm scared to check <laughs> mm, i'm scared I'm, I'm i'm so scared what if it comes up that the two sims of this household are pregnant she's pregnant she's pregnant the university pregnancy of it all honestly guys 
I think we know what, what Lilith would do. I think we know what Lilith would do. I don't have a mod to do it. But I think... I think we know the route, especially because she's in college. She's a whole future ahead of her. She's not with her baby daddy. Like we know, we know what 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 she would do. Bye, baby. <laughs> um, keep in mind the baby's gonna get taken away if they all go to the final exams. That's true too. Oh my god, they all. Oh wow, DJ got academic probation. Jesse got a B. Sarah got a C. Monica got a C. Hmm. I think there was a mod for or yeah, re released recently. I need it. I need. I think we know what she would do. Like it's not. I mean, she's a college student. Hmm. Women's rights. Yeah. Let's get the get the mod while we wait. The leadest fetus. Oh man. I feel like I can't believe this girl. Out of all the time she has woohooed, she has woohooed so many times. She is not pregnant somehow. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how that's possible, but... Oh, Jesse has food poisoning. She just... Oh, she ate the pizza. That's why. Nice, Jesse. Great. Okay. Are you do it with ACR or Sim Blender? The, the morning after pill won't work because she's already pregnant. Um, Or maybe it will. Let's see if it will. Let's see if it'll work. Rooting for a Jesse Pil Pilferson baby. Okay, we're gonna have her go and take that. Um, she's getting some water. She's gonna go take it with some water. Okay, she's taking her water with it. She's an absolute icon. I don't know if it works. Like that? Does that work? Does that do anything? I've never used this before. Oh no, it works. Okay, there it is. That's all we had to do. It's just a, a, take a pill. That was it. Simple as that. Okay, so she's no longer pregnant. That was quite simple. <laughs> I've never done it. I've never done that before. I usually have them keep it, but um, she's she's a she's a uni kid, so I feel like she you know she has her whole future ahead of her. Okay, so Lilith, I need to have her go and let's have her have some. I don't know, just go eat the TV dinner or whatever. She has her final exam in twenty hours. Jesse woohooed two thousand times, never got pregnant. You should have bought a grill. The barbecue baby. No. Lilith wouldn't do that. Okay, she's scarfing that down. Uh, all right, she's going to class. Holy, everyone's in class. I'm not even, I'm barely paying attention to these sims. She wants to gain a skill. What does she need? She needs cooking skill. Okay, go and study cooking on the computer. Reproductive rights are not an issue in Sim Nation. Exactly. They are not an issue. It's not it's not up for debate. It's it's a given right in Sim Nation. It's a it's a given right. Okay, I'm gonna have Lilith go and pay all the bills and stuff. I hate how they like put them wherever they can. Um I'm gonna have DJ pay them actually, because I'm just sick of having everyone walk around and through the house and all that kind of stuff. So Okay, we'll do that. Uh, what is Lilith doing? Lilith wants to go on a date with somebody. I feel like she should give that what's his face guy. Um, Ashley was that his name? Ashley? Who is it? Who was that guy last night that she was hooking up with? I'm not hooking up. Yeah. Oh, Matthew. Sorry, Matthew. There's Ashley and there's Matthew. They look very similar. I think I'm gonna have her. I think I'm gonna have her go out with him again just because. When is her class? She has class at 5 p.m. Which actually doesn't matter because the community time is not a thing in university. Um, for some context, Jesse's a sim whose phase appears on corrupted sims. Oh, is it really? I didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. It's so fascinating. Okay, we're gonna go to community lots. Let's go by ourselves. We're gonna go with Matthew. Oh, she just hit on Jesse. Wait, she has a crush on Jesse. Did you guys see that? She like fan she she farted hearts over her head for her look at her <gasps> you like her hold on a second where is she what do you think of her how many bolts how many bolts how many bolts does she get she hates mary sue oh my god can i do it like this oh she, she didn't get any bolts time will still go down on community lots yeah um, i know that she has oh she went to mm, okay well i'm gonna cancel their group outing then i guess the college timer is still affected. I have a mall that stops that. I have a mall that stops that. I was hoping body exploration time. Listen, if she didn't have class, I definitely would have had her. Oh, this guy looks this guy looks like a good match for Monica. I could see them together. Okay, go say hi to him. What is his name? 
Mitch Indy. Go say hi. Do you like him, Monica? I'm trying to get like all these girls with some people. Oh, she does not like him. She shivers. She's like, ew, I don't like him. Yuck. Oh, she, she has, she has an X over the chemistry bolt. So she's not fond of him. Okay, how about DJ? DJ, do you like him? How about you come down here? Someone needs to get with Mitch. Okay, I've decided this spur of the moment. Lots of romance is happening for these girls. Although, although DJ needs to focus on her studies because she is on academic probation. Does she not like him? Let's see what she thought of him. Um, did she she didn't say hi to him. I don't know. Oh, we stood up, Matthew. Sorry, Matthew. I had class. I had to. I had to go to class. Okay. Oh, thank you, Rex. Thank you. I appreciate it. A a a a a a a a y y y y y o o o o o o o. Hey, hoes and Malachi. Hey, hoes and Malachi. A a a yo yo yo. Thank you. I appreciate it, Rex. Also, happy eight months. Jesse will like him. Jesse doesn't care. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse likes everyone. Jesse's a romance through and through. This man just walked in and was like, find me a girl now. Oh, she doesn't like him. Look at her. She has the exes. No one likes this poor guy. I feel bad. Oh, they're all haters. I mean, look at him. He looks like he hosts like a TV show from the 2000s. He looks like he'd be like Ryan Seacrest or something. <laughs> okay so what does everyone need to do okay so poor dj she did bad last semester because i really was not paying attention to her um just i'm trying not to pay attention to like mocha manage all these sims because i really don't like it but i have to i have to i almost have a twitch baby this man just walked in yes his gooch stinks that might be true you know after he did his long day of uh, hosting reality tv shows from the 2000s his gooch stinks for sure poor guy everyone literally all these ladies are like they see him for what he is yikes he could have a good personality hey he could have a good personality hi maddie i'm traveling to the czech republic and i've been waiting up for three hours in the hungary to cross the border is the border like hard to get across there uh that sounds awful like waiting in line i hate waiting in line it's like so annoying to wait in line i'll show you a youtube video help me thank you I appreciate it, Smoke Koala. I don't know if you're going for vacation or what, but I hope you have a good time or had a good time. I don't know if you maybe went already for a vacation or something. I'm so excited to go to Europe soon. I don't know if I'm gonna have to wait at the border um, or I guess, what do they call it? They call it uh, customs if you're on a plane, right? Customs, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have Lilith go over to the phone now. There's a witch here. She has a witch hat on, I love that. Um, I'm gonna have Lilith go and ask what's his face Matthew we stood him up I'm so sorry Matthew I had class though you know I gotta get my grades I gotta get my grades going so apologies for that but uh let's go and ask Matthew on a date we'll see if he says yes um he doesn't think so oh 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 yeah sorry sorry about that okay well in the meantime let's have her become friends with Dirk she lost her relationship with Dirk because he's just oh he doesn't own a phone does he not own a f okay i gotta go give him a phone then i gave him and katie their own house because katie's pregnant with their child i need to break lilith and dirk up because i just don't think that they're like romantically into each other anymore and he has katie and he's gonna be a dad and i feel like dirk would definitely um not leave his family for you know lilith who's i think she's is she older she might be the same age as him actually so yeah um anyway oh my nail my nail literally just fell off wow i just pulled my nail off i'm gonna give dirk a phone so we can invite him out to do stuff or no kearney that's the last name kearney and give him a phone and I'll, i can show you guys his house too because his house is it's okay it's like very empty i had them take out a huge loan for this house though like they are gonna be paying back this loan for a very long time they live across from the goth mansion and this is their house i gave them like the bare essentials um check out this loan that they have to for this house they have a twenty thousand dollar loan with a two hundred dollar interest but it's only got a one percent interest rate which is, which is pretty good as far as i know posture check thank you so anyway let's go oh he wants to marry a rich sim i don't think that's gonna happen because you are literally with katie she is your partner so um okay let's just lock that in i don't know if i'll ever do that but i guess we'll see so anyway let's go and give him a phone here so that he can be invited out and stuff 
the burbs live here for your playthrough i did like a lot of house renovating with this house because i hated how it looked like i really did i disliked it i moved i think i moved this room or this wall or something the hallways were really weird and just long and like it made no sense so i yeah i finessed with this house a little bit um and i moved some things around or whatever i think i want to make this a study and then this could be a baby room and then this could be like another child room okay so there we go we got a phone for him so now lilith can call him she wants to be friends with him i don't know what's gonna happen but i guess we'll see here the phone mounts the wall is usable over the counters okay that's a good note that is a good note i made you re same you remade the floor plan yeah that house is like got some of the weirdest architecture i've ever seen and this is one of the houses i hated renovating with a passion understandable it's it got a really weird layout really weird layout I thought you know one tested the sims you need never try resurrected any sim ghosts in the base game that's why they're so broken sims will reach over the counter yeah i i like that they're smart in this where like if something's in the way they just reach over it it's a lot less annoying for sure a breakup risk woohoo we could um the problem is is that so i think it's because she's a young adult the ask to be friends mod by midge doesn't work for young adults because i already tried it like i had her try with curtis who is also a young adult and it worked but dirk is an adult so it, i can't i can't ask her to be friends with him or whatever i'm gonna have her invite dirk over we'll see if he shows up i don't know if he will um yeah he's gonna go out, come over okay nice he's also not bringing his uh fiance i think they're fiance maybe they're just dating okay monica is not getting along with this mitch guy okay ask him to leave he's weird i don't like him he creeps me out oh my god <laughs> She has the, the black and the X's, the, you know, the, the X over her head. Oh, um, with the, like, the little black X's with the red and the, all the, yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. She doesn't like Monica either. You congratulated. What are you congratulating me about? Okay, Dirk's here. Hi, Dirk. Uh, let's go and say hi to um Dirk here. And she's making out with him. Holy shit. Let's go and propose, talk, gossip. Now get in the bed. Dirk Rossi. I think it's because they are so steady that they can't just be friends. Oh, they have to break up. Oh, you might be right. Oh my god, they just fall, fell back in love. Uh, no way they're... Oh, they're gonna go do it on her bed. Dirk, be honest with her, babes. He has a whole fiancé, too. A whole fiancé. Dude, ACR. Why? She just... She just... Ugh god she just took that pill she's pregnant with curtis's kid oh my god oh my god lilith wow they're falling back in love with each other i just can't i just can't no that's what i'm saying i'm sorry why is he doing this i don't know i don't know it's so just unbelievable Okay, go downstairs, Lilith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ has been jump roping all night. She's trying to get her skills up. Oh, she has enough skill. Okay, go and uh, serve some dinner. Go serve some spaghetti for everybody. Is it faded or it is faded? Them to be together? I don't know. Oh, wow. That, that, that's like why she invited him over to, I guarantee, was to hook up. She wanted to be friends with him. All right, let's just say bye to everyone. To be honest, Dirk XL Phillies are so hot. I love your reshade. Thank you, Cam. I appreciate it. I try. I need to make a reshade video for sure. Like everyone always asks me how I get it. And it was like quite an uphill process getting that damn program to work. But we got there in the end. Okay. Okay. What does Monica want to do? Monica wants to reach body level three. So why don't we have her go do a little bit of jump roping here? And then maybe dinner will be done by that time. Oh no, DJ, you burned it, my girl. She burned it. Okay, why is Jessie in her lingerie? Can I ask? <laughs> also, why is her body a different... Hello? Is this bad CC? What is this? Look at this. She has a line in her neck where her body's a different color than her head. Okay, it's just makeup, all right? It's just makeup. <laughs> it's a fake, it's the fake tan. Yeah, it's the fake tan, oh my God. <gasps> Okay, I think she just has food poisoning. I don't think she's pregnant. Okay, I think we're good. I, I think we're good. 
I think Lilith. I, I like how I love how Lilith looks. Yeah, I try to give her like that artsy kid look because she's a drama major. So, you know, I go to an art school, so I know. I know. I know what the kids look like. I try to recreate that. Okay, DJ, you should go to bed. Monica, did you? No, she doesn't. She doesn't have body skill at all. Um, it's just bad CC. Don't worry. Great. She fits the art major for sure. Okay, Jesse, maybe you don't. Oh my God, go get your TV dinner. It's burning, Jesse. Go. You stupid ass. Lilith, move. Lilith, move. Oh my God, we're gonna start a fire in this damn house. Okay, go get it. Yeah, you're gonna eat that too, Jesse. I'm gonna make you eat that because why would you just leave it in there? And just walk away unattended. Jesse, baby, please. Like, come on. Oh, she's gonna vomit again. There she goes. Her food poisoning. She ate that damn spoiled pizza this is what happens storm fires part two no really like is it gonna be chaotic again i don't know i guess we'll see okay jesse it's time to go to bed my girl jesse's literally me she like burned the stupid tv dinner literally the easiest thing to cook you just pop it in there she couldn't do something that simple okay what is this um cooking level three what does she need she does need cooking level three for her major so i'll have her learn that ever go to bed where's sarah i never like sarah is the least one i pay attention to out of all these sims i never ever give sarah any attention i just forget that she exists she's very forgettable okay she reminds me of like regina george like she's kind of like the it girl but i don't know she's just not for me can you burn soup what burn soup it's water i think changing her appearance would fix it it doesn't bother me that much it's just like i'm confused why that's why that's there you can burn soup okay well that's interesting i never thought that was possible the girl she's wearing a polo shirt no though but like look at her face she looks like just that like basic popular white girl you know what i'm saying man you can't leave the icon just like this why do people like her so much i don't get it just because she's like in sims 3 She's giving Blake laugh. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. She's like pretty, just like, I feel like she'd be popular and she'd be like kind of a bully. Yeah, that's the vibes I get from Sarah. She drinks lattes for sure. Okay, all right, back down with the latte stuff, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, if she wants a latte, I feel like I should change her clothes if everyone's dragging her outfit. I'm gonna give her something like preppy, super preppy. She's gonna be wearing preppy clothes. It's gonna be pink. Do you know where you got your Lilith hair from? Um, Nonsensical Simmer might know. She knows everything. She knows where I get all my clothes. And I don't even know. It's definitely from Tumblr, okay? I can help you there. Definitely start on Tumblr. That is definitely where I got it from. I just don't know the creator. They have so many stickers on the Sims Court dedicated to her. I love the Sims. I love playing sports and I'm always bored. You're always bored? Looks like she sells sloppy joes by a sidewalk for a living. Give her the Regina George makeover. No, I really should. I have... Oh, I love this outfit. I give this to Ivy. I love it. It's just so simple. Um, okay, let's give her... Hmm. This. Wait, no. This. Yes! The Regina George makeover. Coming to a TV near you soon. Look at that. That looks, like, so preppy. Hair database, people. Is that where I got it from? Is that where I got Lilith's hair? I literally don't know where I got Lilith's hair. Regina George. Okay, let's put some makeup on her and she will be Regina George. Like, she's gonna be a bully. She's gonna bully her. Oh, she, look, she's just like basic, but she's very pretty, I will say. I'm gonna give her some freckles because I can totally see her having freckles. Some highlighter for her face. Let's do some blush as well. She just is basic to me. She looks basic. I was wondering if it might be one of my hairs. You release a few like that with the strips in the front. Is it really? Did I did I install from you unknowingly? <laughs> I have no idea where I got it from. Um, I can mouse over it though and tell you. Hold on, I can get it for you in a second. Um, let me just put some. The, I love these lipsticks. I don't know where they're from. They're called oh uh Pral Praline by Lola Curious Fizzy Berry Lips. I love these so much. They are like they're like slightly overdrawn a little bit. They look so good. Okay, so there is our Regina George makeover for Miss Sarah. She looks very preppy, very mean, very mean girl looking. Okay, let me check for you for Lilith's hair. Let me wake her up here. I can tell you where you got it from. Where I got it from, not where you got it from. Where you will get it from, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Where is it? It is here. Simplicity 
Kali at Y2Sims. There it is. There is Lilith's hair if you are interested, if anyone watching this. So yeah. Okay, go back to bed. Um, what is her doing? I didn't give her eyeliner, did I? Oopsie. Let me let me change her eyeliner. Um, I want her to have something. Oh yeah. It's giving mean girls. She has very big eyes. They're very pretty. Give her that. Do you see this skin? I use what is it called? Exclamation point skin is my oops, I wrote the wrong commands. There's my skin. I use um honey honey. The creator put their whole plumbussy in that hairstyle. <laughs> it is very cute. It is very cute. Lola Curious deactivated recently. Wasn't Lola Curious the one that has the um, alien um, with the glasses on their tumbler, right? I think that's the person. Lola Curious, if I do remember correctly. Okay, so Lilith has... Oh, she is not going to pass. She is going to go on academic probation. We need to have her go quickly in here and we're gonna have to have her study something have her go study some logic i guess she has no wants though to, to study or anything so i'm forcing her to do this because i want her to pass and be prosperous and be a baby mama that is not a flop <laughs> let's see is she pregnant let's see if she's pregnant with dirk's kid no she's not pregnant okay thank god i was gonna have a heart attack again i just cannot believe that she got pregnant with that Curtis guy and then I was gonna invite Dirk over to like break it off with her and just no nope 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 they went straight up to go and do a woohoo which is just great gotta love that all right anyone else up let's wake up Jesse the semester okay so the semester now that they have all graduated to the next year it actually is doing my um shorter semester which is great because i just hate the long semesters that take so long and then i think these girls might all graduate with lilith which is nice it's actually really nice that they're gonna graduate with lilith so i mean some of them won't because they're like i mean dj is in her freshman year which isn't gonna happen like we're not gonna be able to um we're not gonna be able to play through hers, but I think Monica. Yeah, Monica will graduate with Lilith. And actually none of them are, because Lilith's way far ahead of them. She's a junior and they're like all junior and below. All right, let's have Lilith go and write her term paper. Let's see if we can have her make it in time. Her exams start at nine. So we have a little bit of time here. We have about two hours. I do want her to get in a good mood before her exams. So she doesn't go and goes through her exam in a bad mood. Daydream, she's daydreaming on her bed. Okay. Hop. Oh my god, DJ, just put on the ground, girl. Put on the ground. I don't care. Everyone needs to go grab a plate. Um, okay. Wake up, Jesse. Monica needs to go and grab some pancakes. I'm just calling them waffles. Sarah for Regina George makeover. And then if Lilith can make it in time. Yeah, she has her final at nine. So I don't know if she's gonna be able to make it with this. Sims 2 food looks so good. That's what I'm saying. Like Sims 2 food genuinely looks so good. Okay, she's gonna just barely make it. Is Sarah available? No, she's gonna be late. She's gonna be late to her damn final exam. Go, Lilith! Go, 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 go! You are gonna be... Oh my god, she's like 15 minutes late. Go! Run, girl! Run! Run! Okay, she made it. She's 25 minutes late. That probably would have been a fail in a real college classroom, but uh, whatever, it's fine. Where is Lucy? Lucy Hanby. We need her here. Like, this house is a disaster. Put that away. Let's eat a bunch of food. Get on academic probation. Okay, so she fears academic probation, which means I'm going to let her... I'm going to lock that in, and that will give me reason to have her go and improve her skills. Um, okay, what is this? She wants to go reach cooking, study cooking. Perfect. DJ got cook, uh, cleaning skill, which is nice. Okay, Lucy's here. You don't have to clean that. I'm a little late. Hi, Squareberry. How are you? Better late than never, right? Monster hunter food, though? I've never seen monster hunter food. I know the game monster hunter, but not the food. Maddie was also late. Yes, Maddie was like 15 minutes late. <gasps> I don't think she's pregnant. I think that she is food poisoned still. That was shocking to say the least, though. Yeah, she's not pregnant. Okay, so Lilith graduated with a C. She's now in her senior year. So I'm going to go and switch over to her boyfriend, Curtis. 
Lucy and Lucy's girlfriend Ivy Coper. So let me show you guys the spreadsheet to show you what I'm what I'm trying to do. Now they're not on my spreadsheet yet because I just haven't updated this. Um, but Lilith was originally living with Lucy in that dorm, like this dorm right here. But I moved her out because she wanted to join a sorority. So now Lucy's here with her girlfriend Ivy Coper and Lilith's bling curtis we saw curtis curtis was the one that got her pregnant and then she uh got rid of it but anyway so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing right now we're gonna catch her up to where lilith is they need they have like one more year i think um lucy is got 42 hours so it's a couple more days with this family until she catches up all righty we need a maid <laughs> we need a maid for the storm but i'm not gonna get a maid because that's just stupid all right, one thing I love about the townies is they all come with so many skills. Like, look at Curtis. Just so many skills already. And I didn't even have him. I mean, I probably had him. Oh, hi, Jordan. Um, This this is a really pretty sim in the storm. I don't know why she's streaking, but she is gorgeous. Like, one of the most gorgeous pre-made sims I've ever seen. What university degree would I give Dawn for medicine career? Biology. That's what I give him. I give him biology yeah biology <clears throat> not the exhibitionism i know in the dorm in the middle of the dorm and all okay curtis let's uh i'm gonna lock in i can lock in two okay never mind just it just left all right go reach logic level seven i guess what is ivy doing oh wait i can't lock in two it only lets me lock in one i know you get like two when you graduate university but i had two locked in she's not a pre-made she's just a randomized oh really well, she's a very pretty streaker, I will say. One of the more beautiful ones I've seen. She's preparing for a nude painting class. Yeah, for sure. Oh my God, who's this woman? She stole Bella's top. How dare you, Abby? Abby Mace. She stole Bella's look. So whenever I play some university, people streak a day at most. That's it? They only streak a day? I get them all the time. I get these stupid cheerleaders, the mascots, streakers, all of it. Okay, Lucy's back. I'm gonna have her go upstairs. And I just realized her and Ivy never woohooed before. There's not a place, I mean, I can buy her a double bed, but actually no, a double bed's not gonna fit in that tiny room. Um, I'm trying to see, you know what I normally do is I will put, oh, there is a place for them to woohoo. Okay, well, she needs fun, so. Let's have them go on the rooftop. I love putting this bench here. I do this on all of my university houses or my university dorms to kind of give them like a little private space to kind of, um, you know, do the deed. I also want to put a telescope up here. I'm not worrying about uh, student. I'm not worrying about their money or anything like that. Like I have come to the conclusion that it's too much economics for me to write down everything that I take out and put back in uh, I could, like with their money wise. So. I've just determined what, I, what I'm what i gonna do from now on with all my university kids is for four years of university, as long as they don't flunk out, they will have to pay 10,000. So I'm gonna do 2,500 per semester. And then I'll just like document that in my notes here of their economics. So yeah, and I'll use, uh, what's that? It's called loan jar. Oops, that's my face. It's called loan jar and I can make them in debt. So that's what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> that's how I'm gonna have to do this. I just banned them all. That's a good idea. Oh my God, Lucy's like dying up here. She's sick. Okay, don't die, please. I, the the death was too intense for me before and I was having Sims like die left, right and center and I just don't, I don't want that. I definitely don't want the dying all over the place. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's coming up here to talk to her girlfriend. She's waiting to her. Okay, go and say, oh, their fiance. Sorry, not girlfriend, fiance. Um, Let's have them go in. I feel like we should have them go in woohoo on this bench over here. Let's go sit there, go sit there. Yeah, I I should keep track of their grant. I know I forgot. Um, I could probably guess who got what, but I should have kept track of it. I didn't keep track of it. That's my bad. 
like from dean's list yeah the dean's list is where i start getting confused like the dean's list is the worst part for me that's when i start getting confused about like their money and all that kind of stuff i mean we're already three semesters in so the next time i play university um i definitely will go ahead and i hate acr when it does this i don't know why it does this next time i will definitely keep track of everything they are in <laughs> she got in her rope go woohoo right there there we go okay perfect great 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 yes just so everyone can see you guys we're gonna we're gonna woohoo up here on the rooftop gotta love that all right curtis what are you doing go and grab some food here are you guys um doing the yep they're doing the do oh um the mascot ran up here and is now watching them that's strange okay hold on i might ban <laughs> let's ban all the annoying npcs there's literally a button for uni npcs ban all wait i have oh ban all annoying uni npcs yes that's what that's what we need to do goodbye goodbye why are they all up here you guys come up here at the most inopportune time what is wrong with you shannon's cheering them on i know okay they're pecking each other they woohoo wait i don't even know if they woohooed have they woohooed? Or, wait, they might have already woohooed. No, they've never woohooed before. Lucy has never had her first time. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're woohooing. All right, I was like wondering what's going on. And now Shannon, Shannon is just like loving this. That's so creepy. Shannon is eating this up. I'm gonna leave that comment there because, oh, I just teleported Curtis. Sorry, Curtis, go sleep. I might have Curtis go upstairs on the telescope and stargaze because that's what he wants to do so before he goes to bed um we're gonna have him go upstairs and stargaze a little bit he's also a knowledge sin so he could get abducted by aliens and preg impregnated so that's an option wouldn't that be cute if him and uh lilith had a little alien baby i'd like that first ever woohoo on a park bench in the in the desert on top of a roof listen it's romantic it's quiet but okay the the quiet part is not including the mascot running up on them and continuously yelling in their ear yeah that's not part of that who's this townie she's pretty like all of these randomized sims or sorry not townies uni sims uni sims sorry um i get townie and uni sim and everything i just combine it into one word okay go there she like can't get up the stairs dormies sorry dormies dormies yes i call them all the same thing like i just it, it all blends together in my head lucy's eating after her first woohoo how romantic yeah she had her very first woohoo with ivy they waited they waited a really long time until they were in uni honestly it's because this dorm doesn't have any double beds or um and i forgot about this bench up here so that's why she waited so long i would have had them i would have them um i would have had them do it earlier but better than calling pre-made townies sorry i i always like confuse when i didn't play sims 2 everyone would be like who's your favorite sim or who's your favorite uh townie and i'd be like brandy broke like girl that's not a townie <laughs> okay go go to bed Lil Lil lilith i called her lilith lucy i'm glad that i moved lilith out though because i would have called lucy lilith and Lil lilith lucy like i would have done it all the time i guarantee and thank you for the four months at tier one i appreciate it thank you guys so much thank you thank you okay curtis is super tired so we need to send him downstairs go to bed he also is sick so i do have a less intense version of similar um no who made that mod i don't know the disease mod that like can actually kill them or it's easier to kill them i guess but it's like a less intense version of that the one that i used from pleasant sims was way too intense like too much my sins were dying left right and center and it was annoying okay i mean that's kind of why i have it in there is for the chance of death but like i know if a sim dies from their sickness then i did a really bad job of taking care of them really really bad job i never had a sim die from the flu with similars mom see i have an edited version it was on the sims cord I forget who did it it was one of the sim court members edited it to their liking um it is still similar 90s disease mod but it's like a edited someone like went in and edited the package alice yes alice's edit of the similar 90 disease mod yes that is what i use for my sickness sickness because i was using cindy's version and it was way too high like i was having sims die every single time that they got sick oh my god lucy <laughs> Lucy was dancing in two times speed. It looks so funny. I don't know. I've never seen I've never seen a sim dance like that in two times. Okay, I go get some food. It's time. It's time. 
uh ivy and curtis i forget their names ivy and curtis they have their finals today so i'm gonna have them go downstairs and eat before they leave eat some food lucy does not have her finals today um but she still needs to get up she needs to get up her body skill because just like lilith she is going to flunk out if she does not get that up she wants to gain a skill point so i'm gonna use that as rationale for having her go and improve her body skill today she doesn't have class until five so we can probably have her head to the gym okay you guys need to go to your finals so run 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 go 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 I don't think they're gonna run i did get the walk that gets rid of the uh young adults walk because i hated it but yeah i'm glad i'm glad i don't have it anymore bye d'angelo like you're popping in i really appreciate it and also have a nice night or go to bed okay i'll have sweet dreams then and a nice night i guess <laughs> okay we're gonna send lucy over to the gym she needs a little bit of body skills so i think there's one in lafayette's attack if i am correct swim center there's a student union. This is, I, I've never actually checked out um, these lots. Oh my God, girl, stop. She just canceled what I told her to go and do. Oh my God, go to, she didn't even leave. She didn't even go. Come on, Lucy, get it together. Walk to lot, community lot. Go to the gym, go. There we go. Also, hi, Tanya. How are you? I hope you have Bard's uni timer fix. Yes, I do. I have it in there. I do have it in there. It was annoying that like the clock would run down and they wouldn't even be, they wouldn't even be like at their dorm. So yeah, I have the fix. Okay, Lucy's going to go and work out a little bit. This is a very unimpressive gym, I will say. I do not like this gym. Um, it's very lackluster for me. Oh, she wants to complete her junior year. Okay, I'm gonna lock that in. Oh my god, we have that hot Holden guy right from last stream. Yes, yes, yes. I remember Holden. You guys remember Holden from whose dorm was it? Dirk and Katie and Tessa's dorm? Yeah, that's him. He's here. We just got home from a 20 hour car ride. That is rough. I hate car rides that are that long. Yeah, that is awful. Oh, that is awful. Lucy's getting her skills up. Okay, she needs three more body holy shit that's a lot lots of body skills she needs um hold it <laughs> holden's in a leotard i love that we have britney upshot britney upshot over here i'm just checking out everybody i'm I'm, I'm I'm not gonna have lucy cheat she's a family sim so i don't see her cheating <clears throat> i don't even remember her secondary what did i give her i don't even remember i don't even know if i did her secondary yet I also made an edited Gussie Up mod so I don't have to go through all those problems. Oh, that's nice. I need that for sure. That is nice. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Do your shit, Lucy. How many more does she need? She needs one more body skill point and then we gotta have her head back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I really wish there was community time for Sims University, though I know it wouldn't really work out and it would be like catastrophic with how it works, but oh, that's nice. There's a cafeteria lady working here at the um, gym. That was unexpected. Also, why is there just this giant hole? Like, what if somebody falls? EA, with these shitty builds. Like, what if someone falls? How did they forget railing right there? That's what I want to know. Okay, so we're going to have Lucy head back to her college dorm and have her go to class when she gets back uni makeovers i need that yeah they are just like the giant abyss imagine just falling <laughs> falling into the hole that is the stairs like what is that how do they mess that up so bad the trash can was killing you i wish that i need like a better dorm too like these dorms are fine um they're very unimpressive like this is a very unimpressive dorm i mean it's okay it's just not out of all the dorms in lafayette's attack this is definitely the best one but it's still unimpressive. Hi, pleasant view. This part's in the wall. It's me. Yes. Hello. 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 How are you? We've been playing some Sims University. It's okay. Like, I always see people hype up the Sims 2 University so much. And I'm just like, it's okay. Like, I, it's not like I hate it or I love it. I have no feelings towards it. 
Okay, Curtis got an A plus and Dean's list. Good job. And he got a grant. Okay, someone, whoever said earlier to keep track of who gets however much money. Um, okay, so Curtis is gonna have 1,200 taken off of his loan of 10,000. So that means Curtis will now owe 8,800. I don't know if he got anything for the other semesters because I wasn't keeping track of it. So I need to add Curtis into my spreadsheet here. So I'm gonna go into Lafayette Tech. We're gonna go one row above. I don't even know his last name. What is his name? Toyunga, I think it is. Curtis. He is a son. No, he's nothing. He's not even in a household. Um, YA, I don't know what his, his knowledge primary. And then he's gonna own 8800. And then we need to add Ivy Copper as well. So I'm gonna go Copper, Ivy, she's a YA. And we're gonna have her, she got, I think she only got like 800 or 400. She got 400, okay. So that means Ivy's gonna get 400 taken off of her loan of 10K. That's how I do my loan system now, I guess. So she only owes 9600, okay, perfect. Easy to keep track of. Nine six zero zero. I should put a negative in front of it because that's like a loan. It's not like they have that much. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna have to do like more editing with this, like find out their aspirations and whatnot. But for now, that will work. Okay. Maybe it's because I got a few years left before uni, but I don't really have much hype for it. Our dorm was supposed to be impressive. I mean, the other dorm is like I think that the sorority house in um when we were playing Lilith was really cool but this is very just meh it's one of the cooler dorms in La Fiesta for sure it's probably the best dorm in La Fiesta but there's still I mean I feel like there should be a gym here there should be maybe not shopping because it's a dorm but like a gym at least how do you choose what college to send them to um it's not a want it's like I if I look at a sim like for example the goth lineage they 100% would go to Academy Latour because that's like a prestigious school, right? Um, if it's like a sim that is middle class, I will send them to Sim State University and then all my artsy kids, they go to La Fiesta Tech, which is kind of backwards because La Fiesta Tech, Tech, like tech is technology. So it doesn't really make any sense that I send them there. But my artsy kids go to La Fiesta Tech because the, the desert, the desert environment is kind of like quirky, like my artsy kids, so. That's how I choose where to send them. Um, but yeah, my Lafayette Tech thing was definitely a major oversight, I will say. But whatever, it's fine. I'm gonna, Ivy wants to do assignments. So I'm gonna have her do it in this chaotic, this chaotic entryway in this apartment or not apartment dorm. Of Curtis go do his assignment too. Also, good night, Acid. Have a nice night. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate it. He wants to reach logic level seven. That's fine. Uh, he wants to go look actually no it's stay time so i don't want him to get yelled at one time i had mortimer come over and like yell at my sims because my sims were peeping through the what's it called the um telescope late at night okay lucy um lucy go to the bathroom what did you have a sim at lafayette tech wants to go into biology i just i just let them do whatever they want yeah if they get there and like they don't because I, I know off the top of my head lilith always wants to do drama so i sent her here uh lucy lucy strikes me as an artsy kid so i sent her here but yeah if they like i have curtis here he's in mathematics and ivy's in mathematics so i just i just i go with the flow like it doesn't bother me i kind of just like to use like the different universities in different ways because there's three of them like why not just use them whatever go and do some jump roping um, and I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'm gonna leave my game on pause. We'll see if like a fire breaks out. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so when I get back, you guys better tell me, watch there be a fire the moment I step up and leave. Like this stupid cafeteria lady, she's gonna start a fire. Okay, I'll be back in like one minute. I'm expecting there to be a fire when I was going to be honest, cause these cafeteria people will start fires like very often. I've had a couple of fires here and there, but. Lucy's girlfriend was coughing like crazy, really? Oh man. <laughs> that's not good does ivy have covid like why is she coughing like that yes they all have pleasant view 19 unfortunately they have the pleasant view 19. why do you should title this vod i left my sims game on pause for 24 hours and let my sims all die <laughs> not clickbait emotional <laughs> ivy's about to kick the bucket cough do i use reshade yeah this is what it looks like without reshade it looks so depressing like look how much better that looks 
so depressing without reshit. I don't even, I look at this and I'm like, how did I do that? Oh, he's thinking about this girl, Abby Mace. I mean, she is stunning. She's giving Regina, Regina George vibes. I know, yeah, I don't know. I literally don't know how, oh my God. He's got the Pleasant View 19. They all have Pleasant View 19. We need to order some medicine for these guys because I would, okay, Ivy's, <laughs> they're all coughing guys, I'm telling you. Um, does the medicine do anything when you buy it? Express delivery. Oh my God, she is coughing like crazy. Where is it? Uh, cologne, no. Ooh, love potion would be cool. Nothing happened, damn. I was half expecting lots of shit to happen. Um, can you, I don't even know where you get medicine from. I haven't even ever bought it or anything. Is there medicine in The Sims 2? There has to be medicine. I think I've bought it before. Was that Sims 4? Sometimes, I don't know why, but like Sims 2 and Sims 4 are a lot closer than one would think. In terms of like how you, when you're on a lot, you can't see other lots. Like that is a strictly Sims 2 and Sims 4 thing. You know what I'm saying? I think out of all the games, like the Sims 3 is massively, massively different from any of the other Sims game, games in the franchise. You know what I'm saying? Ivy's so cute. She has a very template face, but I think she's cute. She, she looks like somebody I would know in real life. Like she looks like a real person. Okay, what is Lucy doing? Lucy needs to... Oh, wow. The Oh, it's because my game is on speed three. I'm like, what is the lag? What is the lag of all of it? But it's because on speed three. Understandable. Understandable. Mm -mm. Gotta reapply my lip gloss. You guys know. You guys know. You guys know the deal. And she stands out. It does. I agree. For sure. Watch my leprosy on, on challenge on YouTube. Why was that so hard for me to say? I literally can't talk right now. Um, but yeah, welcome. Playing my Sims 3 legacy, my Sims 2 legacy. Because I have both of them. Okay, the phone is ringing incessantly for good and bad things. I agree. Yeah, Sims 2, I feel like runs really well. Like this is just like for this game being in 2004, runs really well. Maybelline. It's the Maybelline. Yeah, it's a lifter gloss from Maybelline. That's what I'm using on my lips. It's very pretty. The bottle is very pretty. I got it from, what's it called? Ulta. It's in shade sand. 015 sand, if you're interested. So did I get it outside of my mouth? Let's see, how did I do? It's good enough. <laughs> you guys can't see. I'm in the corner. I'm tiny in the corner. You guys can't see anything anyway. Um, Simply Sims. Hey, Maddie. I know you guys can't see this, but I'm reading chat. Hey, Maddie. I just started playing Sims 2 for the first time and I have been watching all your videos recently. I've been learning so much. Also, you look so good today. I'm so glad you're on the stream. Thank you, Simply. I really appreciate it. I run so well. It's one of the reasons I have a hard time getting into Sims 3. Oh, that's understandable. Understandable. I mean, with new computer components, if it didn't run well, it would be a problem. Yeah, I, what I'm saying is like a lot of these games, especially from like um, these AAA companies are not optimized. <laughs> like if you try and run Morrowind, uh, which is made by Bethesda, you have to do some things here and there because it's a really old game. Same thing with like GTA 4. GTA 4 will not run without fixing it. Sims 2 will not run without fixing it. All these games were not optimized to run very well on like modern hardware, um, which is nice now that games are being like coded for longevity. Like Sims 4 will probably work on computers in like 10 years, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think these companies had the forethought or the technology was not there so that it would run on like a computer in 10 years. <laughs> if it's optimized really well, Sims 3 wishes. Sims 3 does wish. She does wish that she ran well. She really does. She tries. She tries her best. There have been so many times where I will be recording a Let's Play that I, I cannot tell you guys the amount. Who is this hottie? Hello? He's cute. Hold the phone. Hold on. If I threw, hold on a second. If I threw glasses on him, do you know who he looks like? If I threw glasses on this man, do you guys know he, who he would probably look like? And I know why I find this guy cute too. 
because he looks a little bit like Malachi. <laughs> the nose, like, he looks like Malachi. The hair color, look at that. Malachi, where are you? If you guys don't know, um, hold on. Let me show you Malachi. If you if you're new to my stream or you have never seen my boyfriend before, let me get a photo of him. Um, Malachi, it'd be helpful if you came into stream right now. Okay, wait, this is him with a hat on. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, he doesn't really look like him. It's the glasses. It's the glasses, and I guess if he had facial hair, guys, I guarantee if I put facial hair on this on this townie, or this, sorry, dormy, sorry, let me let me change my language, dormy. You're back. Hi, acid. How are you? <laughs> Welcome back. That was quick. <laughs> Wherever you went, you said good night. <laughs> Um, oh, the stubble, right? Wait, it's in stubble. Yeah, yeah, okay. I mean, the nose is way different, but... Immediately, my message is about to say you look better without the glasses after you say he looks like your boyfriend! Okay, listen, listen. He needs a beard. He does need a beard. Not the pink suit. Okay, Malachi, he does like... His favorite color is purple. So, Malachi, this might be your next fit, babe. Oh, he's thinking about Lucy. Hi. Hi, Bill. He seems like a very nice gentleman. <laughs> I mean, the, the lips, like, look a lot like Malachi's, because Malachi... Oh, okay. Um, thank you for waving at me, Bill. But if I cover... I'm covering up his nose right now. The nose is the only thing that doesn't look like him. Everything else? Kind of, yeah. Okay, um, let me have Lucy go and play some chess with this guy. And then we'll have... What does he want to do? Curtis, go and stargaze on the rooftop. That seems like a nice little outing. A little stargazing on the rooftop, you know? Flirt with you through the screen. I know, not him waving to us. Like, what is that? He saw he saw us, guys. He saw us staring at him. <laughs> I love how Sims are, like, sentient in The Sims 2. They will stare at you. They will stare at you back, and it is very unsettling. It is very creepy. Can you... I'm gonna shoo this guy so that Ivy can play with her girl. Her girly. Okay, shoo him. And go join. The purple fit is giving you half nerve. No, it really is. Malachi went into your save. He did. He went in my save. <laughs> he went, went in my save, made himself, and that's that. I haven't, I haven't gotten a good look at like the rest of these. One thing I do like is I have a mod that makes the um, body types. Like you can get, um, cause there's two body types in Sims 2. Okay, we know it's not very inclusive. Like we talked about this before, but um body type number two is the curvier body type and i don't think natively in the sims 2 uni sims or counties in general are able to get like those two different body types like the second body type i mean they'll always have that first body type so i have like a uh more inclusive body types mod or something like that where they can finally get that body type number two one thing is though is there is a lot of clothing in this game that the body type number two which is the curvier body type as i already said they can't get the clothes like they will have messed up clothing like waiters i know if they have that that body type number two the clothing will look like a uh creepypasta it's like glitched up and really pointy and tacky like not tacky like literally a tack like a sharp tack looks really scary creepypasta type beat but anyway <clears throat> a little bit of the butt and a little bit of the gut yes Maddie, I really hope you do a leprosy look back when you're down, when you're when you're done with Back to the Future. I want to see reminisce. And me too. That'd be so fun. Like, I would when I started the leprosy for Sims 3, I was in a totally different mental space than where I am now. Like, I started my YouTube channel because of that leprosy. Like, I wanted friends and I wanted people to share my Sims with and like a friendship because I don't have anybody in real life that plays Sims. So I started my YouTube channel just so I had like that sort of community. And um yeah i think it would be cool to like look back and because i'm in like a much different place like i'm about to graduate i'm about to get my life started all that kind of stuff why is she snapping on the couch when she's like two feet away from her bed it looks like they went through a shredder exactly exactly that is that is right look like they went through a shredder it's like creepypasta type stuff so you can't disable packs lazy duchess has a pack selector i think in uh in the um RPC mod, I'm pretty sure. It's 
it's crazy to see how much you change for every season i agree with you i definitely agree with you i think in the beginning i was like very quiet i was kind of awkward i didn't know how to like commentate i would also have i mean i know when i'm streaming like there's like silences where i don't talk uh, but that's just I, I can't continuously talk for three hours straight but i try i try i can try and talk for three hours straight but my mouth has to stop moving at some point but what i was gonna say was those early seasons i am there's those long silences where i don't say anything like i'm like I, there's nothing for me to say and i now i edit them out but back then if i didn't have anything to say i would either be like um like i would say the word um or i'd be like so I, so the word so is my um word like a lot of people say um but i say so i say so so is basically my equivalent to uh or um <laughs> so yeah so i just did it so yeah what's your thoughts on werewolf in high school high school i'm so excited for like that will probably be the best sims 4 pack in for my gameplay style i have not liked any packs since eco living came out i think eco living was like such a flop like i never would use eco living in my own gameplay but sims 4 high school that has got to be the for most of us i'm pretty sure that's gonna be like the pack that changes the the you know how we play the game it's huge it's a huge it's a huge undertaking i can only imagine werewolf doesn't really interest me i like when they combine like supernaturals into one pack like i don't like when they segment it i know that sims even in sims 3 they segmented it but you have the main ones like fairies werewolves and uh vampires all in the same pack which i think really is nice because you can i i swear there are so many interactions in the sims 3 because they all came in the same pack there are a lot of specific only interactions between supernaturals like i know for example uh werewolves can show their teeth to vampires right but vampires if the sim is if the, if the sim that is receiving that animation is a vampire they will flare their teeth back because obviously werewolves and vampires both have really sharp teeth so i think it's really cool when they build it and have these really cool specific only interactions you don't get that between packs because that's hard to code in when the packs are segmented do you know what i'm saying like there's continuity is the word continuity the sims 4 doesn't have a lot of continuity because you have vampires in one pack you have werewolves in another pack you have plant sims in a pack like a lot of people don't even know plant sims exist in the sims 4 because no one talks about them no one uses them so what i'm trying to say is i don't like the lack of continuity between supernaturals i think one of the highlights of the sims 3 supernatural is the continuity between supernaturals like i just used the teeth example between werewolves and vampires um there's a lot of stuff with i think that there's like stuff with fairies and uh oh i know another one when a vampire bites the neck of a fairy and starts to drink blood from them the vampire will get a special moodlet because they drank fairy blood and it's like higher um it's like higher or better for them or whatever higher quality i guess or better for the vampire so that's what i'm saying like there's a lot of little pack only interactions that you can only get when these supernaturals are included in the same pack together sorry i was like that was me I, my examples were all over the place but if this was like an edited concise video it'd make a lot more sense i promise okay but it's because i'm live on stream i'm like being put on the spot to answer these questions i don't have time to think it out <clears throat> i hope you guys understood what i what i mean by that one having all the cults at the same time more depth in a cult yes that's a such a good example heaven um yeah that's what i mean more depth when you have them all in the same pack together is what i'm trying to say okay curtis going to the phone He's hacking up a lung over here. I feel so bad for these Sims. I don't know if like there's, can I buy medicine? Is there Sims 2 medicine for sickness? Let's try that. Who just called? Illness. Okay, let's look at the illness page in Sims 2. Let's see if there's any medicine I come and have these, have these Sims have. All right, Sims 2 illnesses. Influenza. Sims have a 1% chance. Obviously this is different because I have a uh mod that makes it a little bit more potent the best cure for illness is rest sims should be kept away from healthy sims should not 
be standing too long their comfort energy can be kept high by having them sleep and relax until a message appears saying they're cured meditation can be used to freeze these motives in order to keep them high i didn't actually know that oh sims can make medicine with the biotech station which will reduce the duration of illness medicine does not work without free time or apartment life however a modem for morris and the new can be used to make medicine work properly in these games with all these expansions and all yada 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 orange juice made from the tasty or mouth-watering fruit can cure colds or at least reduce the duration of illness so you guys know this this is interesting oh right grandma's comfort soup we should have lucy make some grandma's grammars 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 comfort soup because she is actually a family sim and look at that she actually wants to graduate yes i'm definitely gonna have you do that um so lucy was given 500 as a grant so i will have to take that off of her loans so i'm gonna go in here and her loans are only gonna be 9500 wow it's still so expensive yeah grandma's comfort soup i'm gonna have her make some of that i don't actually think she can because I think, the, I think the cafeteria lady is in the way. Sims 4 cults are more complex separately, but together they feel very disjointed. Yes. We love the information dump, Maddie. You're welcome. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying my best. I don't know if she's going to be able to make this because the lunch lady is in the way. Hi, T-Dub. How are you? Oh my God. The lunch lady is boxing the air. Excuse me. Move. Thank you okay lucy's gonna make this and then we'll have curtis have some we'll have ivy make some or have some not make some they're all full why curtis why would you eat okay lucy you can put that on the ground how about that so go and grab a plate grab a plate grab a plate oh don't clean that up go and grab some grab some perfect no 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 ivy no don't touch that go and go and eat that okay perfect look at that we're all no don't cough up along you're okay ivy you're okay yes i know go eat your soup you'll feel better after you have it <laughs> you'll feel better i promise oh okay that bitch just stole my soup wow how rude of you to do that why would you do that to me all right you guys need to stop talking listen i have a mod that makes it so they stop talking so much when they eat and they still talk like incessantly like they will not stop talking okay curtis what are you doing no go and finish your soup my guy i know you're full but you need you need the you need the sustenance you need the immunity okay lucy has class an hour i hope she can oh there we go okay so she had her soup it did not cure her for some reason don't clean that up no you need to eat the rest of it ivy these sims are anti-soup they don't understand that it gives them immunity benefits the witch just committed murder by stealing your soup no really and it didn't even cure ivy oh my god it didn't even cure her that's so nice okay maybe she'll eat and actually get cured she's like the one that's having the worst illness and i'd say it was curtis wait did she not go to class lucy go go to girl what are you doing go to class you're gonna be late is she late okay she's just gonna make it in time actually she's gonna be like a minute or two late but should be close enough okay no ivy she keeps trying to put the damn soup back or she's trying to get up for a bit I think the illness is having her cancel it out. Um, but obviously she needs the food because she's sick. Her hunger is full. No, her hunger is full, I know. I guess I'm gonna have to have Lucy probably remake it when they are all uh, hungry so that they can have the full amount of it. Okay, let's have Ivy go upstairs. She's gonna go and practice some chess to get her logic skill up. Curtis wants to go and do his homework assignment. So this is like the worst possible timing that these sins could do um for getting sick like this is just awful like really really bad okay curtis go yeah go do your homework all right i'm gonna put in speed three we'll wait for everyone to you know get their shit over with to do everything oh ivy got a skill point for logic that's nice she's also about to get another one. Oh, lucy's back lucy wants to learn logic which i think is a good idea because she can go and play with her girlfriends on the chess chess match when she's done okay she got her logic up which is nice um does she need any more i don't think she needs any more no she's good she's cleaning though let's have her go study some cleaning oh no she's going to class never mind about Kurt. wait is she late i think she's late isn't she no she's not late uh, why are these sims not going to class i think it's because they're sick they're canceling out going to class yeah like she just did that she just they're all sick so they're all canceling going to class no 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 go to class please and thank you 
I love the cook in the kitchen for the uni dorms. You can make sure something like it in the Sims 3 with food registers, but Sims 2 was killing it. Yeah, and they they always make food. They're here from 4 to 12 a.m. Like, that is such a long day. That that worker, the cafeteria worker, works literally like 20 hours, which is insane. That the, the shifts that those workers work. Heart goes out to them. That must really suck being on your feet for that long and then like going home for four hours at night and then having to wake up and do it all over again. Sims are uni, up to see Llama Pox realness. Oh my god, that was just I'm so annoying. I'm so glad I got rid of that vector mod. Ugh, awful. We need to unionize Sims to University. No, really, those poor cafeteria workers. Oh wow, they just get they just get taken advantage of. Okay, Lucy's hacking. She's hacking her lungs out here. I'm trying to have her just like I, I'm really trying to have them still learn their skills and everything. It's a struggle though. It really is she's not gonna graduate with honors she's just gonna be regular schmegular students i think okay she's got a skill point for her charisma the queen lady better have a good salary damn like i can't imagine it even be that much i cannot imagine that they even get paid well which is sad to say but it's true mm -mm. i would imagine it would be a very bad deal for them chris is gonna go search the stars and go stargaze Need his logic skill to go up a little bit. Isn't it like ten ten dollars an hour? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. That seems about right. Dude, Ivy is just hacking up along. I'm gonna save my game because I haven't saved in a while. I'm scared. I haven't loaded off this lot, so it hasn't saved. Yikes. Ten, I think it's ten dollars an hour. That's like so unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> so unfortunate. They don't even get paid well. Oh wow. All right, Lucy has enough logic or charisma. She needs logic now, though. Let's go and study logic. Crash, crash, crash. No, don't, don't, don't jinx it. Acid, don't jinx it. Maybe she sees the uni sims as her children. That's why she loves her job. <laughs> she was boxing the air like a couple sim hours ago, so I don't know. I don't know if she likes the job. I mean, she's home at she's home right now. She's probably sleeping. Wow. Should I write a fanfic about the cafeteria worker in the in the Sims 2? Wondering what she does at night when she goes home for four hours. Does she even sleep though? That's like how does she function into like 20 hour shifts when she's only at home for four hours? That's what I want to know. That is what I would like to know. It is a mystery. This job is adrenaline inducing, so I don't blame her. <laughs> All these uni kids around her the american dream okay curtis go write your essay or your term paper i think it's so weird how the term papers are not like mandatory i don't know i always had mandatory term papers last semester i had like the most work i've ever had in my sims or my sims i just call myself a sim in my real college life was last semester like i am just so ready to graduate i just want to be done the college Ugh, it's just a lot it's a lot Get the cafeteria worker into the rotation. Seriously, she deserves it. She really does. She's an icon. All right, let's have everyone go to bed. They have their exams in a couple hours. They're not going to get very much sleep, but that's fine. You know, the best cure for the sickness, as the Sims Wiki said, was the illness. No, the uh, sleep, the sleeping. Sleeping is the best. Okay, um, Ivy has just damn near pissed herself. Nice. Good thing she's right across from the bathroom. Let's have her go in, do her assignment. She wants to do that before she leaves. Let's get some food in our system. I think they all leave at 10 a.m., right? That's when their exams are. Oh, no, Lucy doesn't have her exams today. It's just those two. Yeah, Curtis has ex his exam in an hour. All right, time to get up, Curtis. I know you're sick, buddy. I know. Super sick, but gotta go not the sim degree i have a degree in sims yeah simology oh look malachi is here hi malachi <laughs> he needs more body hair malachi has a lot more body hair than this the nose is like so painfully inaccurate to what malachi looks like it's sad but the rest is pretty similar the hair color the glasses the beard you know i tried i really did try all right lucy go go to the bathroom she's hungry again she can't be pregnant. She likes women. 
pink leopard print. Okay, Playboy. True. Hugh Hefner vibes. Someone said that earlier. Hugh Hefner. Alright, go get some food, Lucy. And yeah, she has 23 hours. Tomorrow she will be on her final day of Sims University, which is so fun. She's almost done. She's in the home stretch. She needs to do her term paper though, like for sure. She's on class till three. Oh, look at that. She fears getting left at the altar by Ivy. Oh, oh, she's, oh, she's, uh, what is this? Caress. Oh my God. She literally ran over to her. Um, okay. So Ivy got 500 simoleons. Let me, let me calculate all this once again. So Ivy currently has, you guys don't know, I'm like keeping track of all their financials and stuff like that. Um, let's do, so she has currently 9,600. So if she just got, what did it say? 500. So she's at 9,100 left for her loans. Perfect. Okay. And then what did Curtis get? Curtis got uh, 1,200 simoleons. Damn, Curtis is really killing it in school. Like he's going to have barely any loans when he gets out. So let's do 1,200. So he's going to have 7,600 left on his loans. I'm proud of him. He's doing really well. I didn't keep track of this stuff for Lilith, so she's going to get screwed over. But I don't even think she even did that well in university, so it kind of doesn't matter. Hi, honey is bunny. Her moldy has an affair with a cafeteria worker. Now the old ladies aren't boring. True. Actually true. Uh, can, can her moldy get it up? No, there's no way. I, I, mm, mm -mm. I don't want to venture my mind there because it's sickening. Absolutely sickening. I don't like her. I think he's really weird and like creepy and just like all the females in Pleasant View, he will pursue them. You can calculate directly in Excel. I know there's a way to do it. I'm just, I don't know how. I just don't know how. Okay, bye. Bye, Ivy. She's going to class. Bye. <laughs> she just left. She just dipped. Hey, Curtis wants to get uh, Dean's list. Look at that. He's doing well. He has high aspirations. I think he will get Dean's list. Like, I'm pretty sure he'll graduate with honors. That's nice. Instead of, instead of squirt, it's dust clouds coming out. Acid, yeah, so that should have stayed. That should have stayed in your brain. <laughs> That, what you just wrote in chat should have stayed directly in your brain. I feel bad for Coral. I do too. Like, that poor woman, she gets, like, she gets cheated on and she has no fun for herself. And then he dies. He always dies before her. Like, Coral, just that poor woman. She just always gets widowed. Always. Every time. And she couldn't even have, like, biological kids. I think they wanted biological kids. That's why they adopted Mary Sue. They adopted her because they couldn't have kids but it's just sad like i do not like i do not like the fact that they that the developers made the bur uh burbs the oldies i mean and like herb is this really creepy old guy i wish it was just like a wholesome sort of storyline with those two but no it's not it's not okay i'm half expecting ivy to die like any moment here go eat girl go you can go eat curtis you go eat that ivy okay go eat that one if you can't grab the other one i feel like they're only gonna get rid of the sickness i swear this malachi doppelganger is always eating in this kitchen <laughs> um but i was gonna say that oh they're their sickness they're only gonna be able to get rid of it i guarantee when they move out like i can guarantee it because they're just gonna keep passing it around Coral gives me grandma that makes cookies. Yeah, she like she gives me like sweet old lady vibes, but like for some reason they went in the weird direction and they made her just like this really old creepy dude that I don't know, I just don't I, he doesn't give me good vibes. I don't think he'd be a good person. I think he'd be really weird in real life. Like he'd be the kind of guy I used to work at a grocery store, right? And I was cashier and there was always those old guys that were like, You should smile more or you should smile or um they were like you can talk to me. I don't bite. Like, you're weird. Like, I'm working a job. Like, I, I can't even imagine any other profession where you would say that to somebody. Like, you would not say that to a nurse if they were running through the hospitals and all that kind of shit. Like, that's just weird. It's just so strange. And my clean template, Pleasant View, Herb, and Bella Goth hook up without my consent through ACR. Ew. That's a weird, that is a weird fucking coupling, I will say. That is really strange. One of the weirder couplings. All right, let's have Ivy go do her homework. Oh, Curtis just got out of the shower to hack up a lung. 
she deserves better i always i always have her like be a nanny if they need money because all they have is like herb's pension and it's kind of bad um financially i always have them or i always have her go and join like the nanny career i have like a part-time careers mod and it lets me it lets her be a nanny it's only like 50 simoleons a day but she can like work her way up through the ranks and all that so that's what I have her do. At least she has something going for her. And then the last time I played Pleasant View, she actually married this random towny guy. And he was a family sim. So it was really cute in the end. Like in the end, she found love. And then it, she died on that guy. So then I had to play with like that stupid towny guy. Because I worked him in my Pleasant View, which was a mistake. This time around, I'm just going to have her be a widow. Because Herb died like a couple of sim days ago in my game. So she's widowed right now. I think what I might do is when Lilith graduates i might move lilith in with her grandma because i think that'd be really cute like her grandma was always there for her oh my god she just thought about a gravestone that means she's gonna fucking die ivy's going to fucking die she's she's getting up she's getting up oh my god go take a shower please i'm so scared i'm so fucking scared like she is so sick oh my god lucy you need to make some food for your girlfriend this is bad this is really bad when they start thinking about the gravestones guys like that is when you should start being concerned because that means that they are very close on the brink of dying and i know that she has been the one that has gotten like the brunt of the sickness like ivy's been very sick i'm gonna have her go and sleep and then we'll have lucy make up some food for her girlfriends and we're gonna have curtis eat it too because lucy's been fine like Lu lucy's doing fine but yeah ivy for sure is very sick like very very sick the pleasant view 19 is just going around it is in full effect right now in the neighborhood all right go grab some they might not eat it because they're kind of full i mean ivy's not full but i put all my old people in a retirement home and acr does its thing oh my god all the old people just smashing each other that's kind of funny actually okay go go downstairs go get some food i know i know you're sick i'm hoping that they eat the full bowl of this so that um hopefully they won't all die and they can be cured of their sickness though i feel like this sickness is just gonna go around oh my god she's thinking about death again ah i wish she would stop stop talking and eat ivy stop stop talking stop i need to like get curtis in bed so that they can like eat this at separate times okay i don't even care come on curtis go let ivy eat she's she needs to eat all the soup she needs to eat the soup she's sick it didn't even cure her sickness what the hell it didn't even cure her sickness she's still sick She's so sick, in fact, that it could not cure her sickness. Even the soup couldn't work its little, little curing magic capabilities. I like, I like Darren. Darren is, um, I don't know. Darren's okay. Darren is, you know, I just play him. <laughs> and he usually gets with Brandy. Usually he gets Brandy or has some sort of kid with Brandy. Last time I played him, he got with uh, Downtowny, And I liked them together. He was like having a bunch of kids with her. I like Darren because he... He has a lot of babies minus Dirk. Like outside of the relationship with Darlene, he does have a lot of kids and he's like a really good, um, he has good genetics. So that's so where the soup should work. I know you're telling me, I know, I know. I associate Pleasant View males with like Dawn and Daniel, those Sims. Yeah, those are manho Sims <laughs> for sure, for sure. Those are the, those are the Pleasant View Sims that I do like. Can you get OJ? No, you have to make it in the juicer. We looked it up. We looked at the wiki to see like all the ways that we can like cure SMs or whatever. Yeah, you have to do it from the juicer. So unfortunate. All right, I could buy a juicer though. I could. But that would be like a chunk of their money just missing. But I feel like it's better than nothing. Maybe we can say that like Ivy's mother sent her a juicer because <laughs> she knew that her daughter was on the brink of, of death. Um, we'll get this one, I guess. Just put that where should i put it uh let's put it we should have like a little snack counter oh i can't clone it that's so weird i can't clone i can't use the eyedropper tool that's so weird i'm just gonna put it right here then all right so put it there we'll have her use that when she gets up in the morning hopefully she will be feeling better i feel so bad for ivy like ivy is the only one that i've seen the gravestone of her head that's very concerning actually very very concerning i don't even know if she's gonna pass her exams honestly oh lucy's about to be a senior okay lucy <laughs> lucy is not going to pass we need her to graduate because uh yes yeah, she wants to graduate we need her to do some assignments her mother sent her a funeral gift and it came early no don't do her 
dirty like that. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor girl. Lucy got up early for some reason. Why is Lucy up? Like, I didn't even have her wake up. She's not going. I don't know if she's going to pass this semester, guys. Like, she's so close. Her bar is so close. She can do it. She can do it. Come on, Lucy. You can do it. I think she'll I think she'll be good. Yes. Okay, now she's passing. All right, I'm going to have her go back to sleep. Go, go back upstairs. I don't know why you got up in the first place, but... You're fine. Okay, so now Ivy's up. Let's have Ivy go watch some TV. Hopefully she doesn't die when she gets up this morning. Praying to God. Okay, she's good. She's good. All right, she's not thinking about a gravestone anymore, which is the first positive sign of this whole thing. All right, she's not thinking about a gravestone. We're good. I'm gonna have Curtis get up and go watch some TV upstairs. He wanted to get honor roll, but like, I don't know if it's gonna happen, honestly, because he is so sick that I can barely have him, really have him stand up without canceling what I'm telling him to do. Oh my god, that's a funeral gift. <laughs> that's actually really funny though. Okay, now I'm gonna have Ivy go use the bathroom. I'll have her go and uh, try and make some juice. We need to make some OJ for these poor Sims. I feel so bad. And hopefully that'll give them the antioxidants against the sickness. Though I think they will get reinfected. Oh my god, she just used the bathroom. Go! Use the bathroom again. Damn, is it like food poisoning? It goes right through them. God, not the other end. Every time they eat. All right, go on, Ivy. Wait, none of them clean that toilet, I know. It's bad. Okay, we need produce. So what we can do is we can go upstairs, buy some produce on the computer, and then we can put it in the juicer. So we'll go here, we'll shop for... Let's get... We need oranges. Shop online, buy produce, oranges. Oh, I just clicked out of it. And <clears throat> we'll buy... 10 oranges for 100 simoleons. That seems fine. We can put it in the juicer and then make some orange juice. This is like a very convoluted, convoluted way, but it's fine. She didn't even put tissue in the sea. How many judges do you think will reach in Pleasant View? I love to restart things. I love to restart video games. I love to restart series like Harry Potter and Twilight. I don't know. I'm like such an indecisive person and I love to restart and like start clean. So who knows, maybe a couple generations out, I'll restart this. I really hope I don't, but I guess we'll see. All right, I'm gonna put three oranges in there. She's gonna make some orange juice. All right, we're gonna go in, uh, wait, can she not use the juicer? How do I do it? Stock, do I have to put all of them in there? How many do I have to put in the juicer? Stocked food. Okay, go put all those in there. Oh, make juice. Okay, orange juice, perfect. Yes, go get it, Ivy. Yay, we did it okay so she'll hopefully be cured i hope look at her go yes with the orange juice she's gonna have some of that let's have curtis go and have some orange juice as well oh wow she used all of those oranges in there that is actually crazy how, how did she use all those that was a lot of oranges that i put in there i don't know but she's chugging that orange juice and it didn't even remove her sickness Dude, what does she have that her sickness literally nothing can cure it? Oh my god, I spent all that money on those oranges and she still, still is sick. That is, I'm like, I'm, I'm out of words. Oh, she's very late for class. She, oh my god, Lucy overslept her exams. Lucy! Girl, what the hell? You're late! You're, you're supposed to be graduating! Oh my god, you better book it over there. Lucy, go! Stop changing your clothes, just go, go, go! wow she was so late. i don't even know if she's gonna pass i hope she does i really hope she does because it's looking grim for her could you imagine if neat sims put tissue on public toilets before using them that would be next gen it would be cool omg how i know i know like how we literally read on the on the wiki that there if you buy oranges and put it in the juicer you're supposed to be able to cure the sickness so what happened i i i don't know i can't tell you like i have no idea oh my god she's in such a bad mood she needs logic but she was like on the brink of death so i'm gonna excuse her but at the same time she's gotta get her skills up she has gotta get those skills up maybe we ginger al we need ginger al yes ginger al my mom used to always buy me ginger al when i was sick it's like something is that's part of my childhood that sticks with me i think it might be a mod conflict or maybe it's because it's in unit i can't find anything online and why it doesn't work it might be the the sickness mod oh Lucy has graduated! She did it! Wow, and she got 500 simoleons as a grant. Okay, so we're gonna take that off of her loans here. So Lucy only now owes 9,000 simoleons to the to the bank of Sim Nation. And then she'll hopefully be able to pay that. 
She's patient zero. No, she's not patient zero. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh my God, is Curtis? No, Curtis cannot talk. Curtis is busy doing his final stuff. And then we're about to graduate with poor Ivy, who is so sick. And Curtis, I'm gonna save the game because that lag spike that I just got scared the shit out of me that it's gonna crash. And then all we have to do is finish up with Lilith and then we are done. All the Pleasant View teenagers have been through university. I can't believe I did three separate rotations of university. I feel like I've been, I don't know, it doesn't feel like I've been playing um, university that long, but I guess, I mean, I guess I have. Okay, Lucy. I think I'm gonna move Lucy into the apartments maybe because she has a fiance. Like I would like to put, if their fiance are above, I'd like to put them together if they got, um, if they got together during uni. Steps inside of chat. My presence is not Hi, Eve Pleasant. How are you? Okay, go Ivy. Go to class. What is wrong with you? Well, I know you're sick, but she's going to piss herself or shit herself. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what is pushing her bladder to be so low, but whatever it is, some bodily function is making her need to constantly use the toilet constantly should we move lucy out i feel like lucy needs to go like i need this i just need all the sims that are like not pertinent to doing uni i need them out i need them out of my hair oh there we go there's her age up there we go oh that's such a cute little dress on her it's very fitting to like the winter season very cute okay lucy can move out now or stay for example to wait for her peers to age up and leave together later so move out now um do I move her? Yeah, we're gonna move her now. They only have like 24 more hours and I would like just all the Sims. I would like to, to get out of my, get them out of my hair. Sims 2, my Sim has COVID, exactly. Lilith graduated. No, Lilith has not graduated. I've been switching back and forth between Lilith, uh, the Lilith household and the sorority and then this household in the dorms. Okay, uh, or cancel to give zero. Yeah, we're gonna cancel. We don't need her to take any money. All right, so there we go. It's just two Sims now left. So that should be pretty simple. I just don't want to like have to take care of one extra sim, Lucy. But uh, yeah, her girlfriend will be coming soon. Only 19 hours. Tomorrow's her final exams and she's doing horrendous. She's doing really bad, like really, really bad. Her girl, she's been so sick. Just how is Curtis doing? I don't even know if Curtis is like, Curtis is doing fine. He's going to graduate, but I, he wanted to graduate with honors. So I'm going to have him try and work on that today. I even bought that stupid juicer and they're still sick. I just don't understand. Maybe they aren't sick. I haven't seen them cough in a while, actually. Wait a second. They might not even be sick. I haven't seen them cough in a very long time. I know we didn't get like the message that um, that the sickness is cured, but maybe, I don't know, maybe the mod I have doesn't give a message. I have no idea, but they're not coughing. They haven't coughed in a long time. They were coughing like every second, every second. So that's nice. I mean, maybe that maybe that's a step in the right direction when they stop coughing. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna have Curtis go and watch some TV. We're almost done with uni. I'm so excited. Oh, there she goes. She's coughing. Yep, I lied. All right, their sickness is not cured. They're just, they're still very sick. Still very, very sick. I don't know what to do about it. I've done everything. I've done everything. Mod really said, fuck you. I know it did. Like, why me? Why does it, why is it out for my Sims? Oh my gosh, I gotta use the bathroom. Go run to the toilets. It's like every second I can't have them study any skills or anything because they are just constantly needing to run to the restroom. And all specter tees, I know. Maybe the mod makes the comfort suit less effective. I, I, I have no idea why my Sims cannot be cured of any, of anything they have. It's ridiculous. All right, Curtis, go and did he write his term paper yet? I think, no, he used 92%. All right, go write your term paper. Curtis will graduate with honors. I refuse to let anything else otherwise happen. He's done really well this entire semester because he had so many skills going into uni because the townies are just like superior in Sims 2 and they uh, have skills already. So he had all these skills. I didn't even have to like do anything really with him. I haven't learned anything. Um, what's her name? Ivy, on the other hand, she really didn't have many skills, so. I've had to have her study all these. I love that how I can use the computers with Monique's hacked computer to study these skills. This is actually really nice. Go study creativity. I think it's realistic too. Like it kind of modernizes the Sims too, because I mean, in real life, like a lot of people learn skills nowadays on the computer. I mean, I can't even imagine, I guess there are like technical skills. Like you have to be there in real life. Like I know, for example, my boyfriend's an electrician and I don't think he can learn through the internet to wire up an outlet. I mean, you could, but like, you see what I'm saying? Like hands-on experience is just so valuable compared to 
over the computer but like for example i don't know how you would learn body skill by being on the computer like it doesn't make sense also charisma skill i guess you could like learn techniques to make yourself more charismatic but it i don't know it doesn't really make sense to me whatever as long as i can use the computer oh my god that looks like a jump scare why does she look like that down there hello are we seeing this what the fuck is that that looks so spooky her face oh, i think she has glasses on oh this is monica yeah monica we were just playing with her in the um sorority house that's cute i didn't even know that they came over i guess i, I didn't really think about it all right is she gonna graduate no you need to go and i'm gonna have her try and write her turn paper she's zero percent and she's sick so i doubt where did curtis come from so curtis is a downtowny he was a teenager originally he is in a romantic relationship with Lilith, and I do send townies to university. If the sim, if the said townie has a wish to go to university, I will send them if they're a teenager. And he had a wish to go to university, uh, and he's he's in a relationship with Lilith. He actually got Lilith um, knocked up, and uh, she said, "Nope, not keeping that." So, you know, women's reproductive rights they are an issue in, in Sim Nation. So she did what she had to do and yeah now she now Lilith is going between Dirk and Curtis in terms of her love life because she was just begging Dirk and I'm pissed off about that because Dirk is supposed to be like this wholesome father he just literally got Katie Kearney pregnant um before they left university in the last stream and now he's being a deadbeat dad and cheating on her and I'm so sad the original sickness mod has an add-on that makes the soup less effective maybe you have it I might I might actually have it yeah, it might be. I have to ask because I have like an edited version from Sims Cord. Um, someone named Alice on Sims Cord um, edited it so it is like less intense. So they don't die as easily, which I mean, I've done. I, I feel like I've done a fine job taking care of these Sims. I just I, they're just like she's coughing up a freaking lung over here. Oh, Ivy. She hasn't thought. Honestly, I haven't seen like the gravestone over her head in a really long time. So hopefully she's doing better. I had her have orange juice, had her have the soup hoping that I won't have to do much else with it. I'm hoping that she doesn't die. I really hope so. So they have their final exam in eight hours. I don't know if she's going to pass, to be honest. She's doing very bad. Very, very bad. Doesn't it honestly matter, though, if she's in her last semester of uni? Will they, like, not let her pass if she does horrendous like that? I don't know. Maybe I should buy some more orange juices. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's go buy some more orange juices. We'll try this one more time. Go buy some more orange juices. Go buy 10 of them. Maybe when I drink water, it goes the wrong way. It goes on the wrong tube. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's have her go. Uh, we're gonna buy a bunch of oranges. We're gonna go stock the produce thingy. The um, cafeteria lady is about to be here, so maybe she can get some food after that. I know she's like super tired, but we have a bunch of stuff that we have to do with Ivy, so she needs to like go do a term paper or something because she's not doing too hot in her classes. She's been sick. Okay, go make some orange juice. There we go. Put that in there. Pop that in there. Go have some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is her secondary? Okay, she's primary knowledge, secondary popularity. I was gonna say maybe she can make the comfort suit, but nah. She needs to be a family sim to do that. Oh, and yep, that didn't do anything. That stupid juice did nothing. It just made her have to go use the bathrooms. That's that's just great. Alright, go back to sleep, I guess. I was gonna have her go do a term paper because her bar is so close to being in the blue. The amount of orange you have to use. God, God damn, I know. It's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot. Okay, what is Curtis? Curtis, go and eat some food. Curtis is doing very well. He's um he's about to have a full full bar there for his class. I'm having to do another assignment after he's done eating. And then he he will graduate with honors for sure. We gotta focus on Ivy though. Ivy is looking it's looking very grim for her. Um, this current moment. I have her go. I'm gonna wake her up. I know that she just went back to sleep, but we gotta wake her up. We gotta have her go and play a game, and then I'm gonna have her do a term paper, and hopefully that'll make her bar go in blue. I mean, one of those white powdered oranges those things are so juicy dude i saw them on tiktok they're on my tiktok like every single day those oranges you literally squeeze them and like the, the orange juice just goes everywhere but yeah i mean i wouldn't doubt it i'm sure if she did have one of those oranges they probably would cure her you're probably right honestly you are probably right <gasps> curtis is healthy oh my god thank god wow that was a long time coming look at that you know on the day of his final exams oh my god but you know ivy's another problem ivy is another problem she is just not getting cured for her life and you know what's the funny thing curtis didn't even have any uh comfort soup i mean i think he had a little bit but he didn't have like a two things of orange juice she's just got a poor immune system i guess because 
She's just not, she cannot get cured for the life of her. <clears throat> anyway, she's about to finish up her term paper. That should send her over uh, into being, oh no, she broke the computer. Okay, switch to the other one, quick. You gotta get on your term paper. Come on, Ivy. I know, you're mad. Oh my God, now she coughs for like two hours. Oh man, I don't think she's gonna make it. Oh God, okay, just go to class, whatever. We'll see if she passes. If she doesn't pass, I'm gonna be very upset. I'm gonna be very, very upset. Oh man, better achievement than graduating. It really is at this point. Like we are just, Francis Worthington the third? He looks like he would be from a legacy family. I mean, look at his face. He looks just like, I don't, I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> Okay, all right, it's time. Let's see if Ivy passes. I have a feeling she's probably not. I'm very sad about that. We tried, she has 2.8 GPA. Don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I don't think she's gonna pass. I'm probably gonna have to do another semester with her, which I don't wanna do. Okay, so Curtis graduated. Um, I, oh, okay, Ivy graduated, yay! They all did it, they all graduated. So Curtis actually, got a lot of money curtis got an extra 1200 he's gonna have very very low student loans so currently he has uh 7600 so we'll take another 1200 off so he's only gonna have 6400 left on his student loans which is not a lot at all so that's what he's gonna leave uni with and then ivy had another 400 for her grant so we will do 9100 minus 400 i can't do that in my brain right now i have a headache okay don't 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 come at me <laughs> 8700 i'm bad at math too so you know i can't do like simple subtracting and adding it's hard for me so yeah these are the final numbers of everybody um in uni they 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 pass i'm actually shocked that they all passed uh we're gonna get we're gonna get ivy we're gonna save the game we're gonna get her out of here as soon as possible so we can send her home so that she isn't so sick anymore this is gonna be uni lp flashbacks with the, with the sickness i know i i totally it, it is very reminiscent of that the llama pox it's just like so intense okay go hang up no we're not doing that we're not doing that anymore we're gonna go call we're gonna move back to pleasant view and we're gonna get ivy and lucy's life started together yay oh look at that pink dress and we're gonna age up um move out now yes we're gonna move out now we're gonna take curtis with us i don't know if he's going to um is he gonna age up hello curtis curtis come on buddy age up there we go hey age up that outfit he's wearing was pretty tragic oh my god this one's even worse <laughs> this outfit's even worse i was gonna be like oh that outfit he had on Ugh, but this one is not any better he's wearing flip-flops with the cargo shorts and the hawaiian shirt i can't okay whatever anyway that was very exciting so now literally the only sim i guess we can save this for maybe next stream uh is is lilith like we all we need is lilith that's it that's all we have to do so it's it's nice He's going on vacation. Yeah, he's taking a little vacation post-graduation. Much deserved. Much deserved graduation. Um, anyways, guys, I'm going to end tonight's stream there. I just want to do a friendly reminder. Uh, I am going on vacation starting next Sunday. Not this upcoming Sunday. Not tomorrow, but like next week at this time, I'll be on vacation. So there will not be any streams um, after that. But the last stream, because it's also my sister's birthday on next Saturday. The next stream will be on Friday, okay? So this upcoming Friday will be the last stream for three weeks until I come back from vacation. Uh, so either you can follow me here on Twitch and turn your notifs on, it'll like pop up whenever I'm live again, or you can just watch out for YouTube and I post a video every single time I go live there. So um, anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy playing uni tonight. I will catch you all in the next stream next Friday, okay? Next Friday, not Saturday, next Friday, so. Mark your calendars, bitch. Mark your calendar, okay? Just kidding. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I will see you all next Friday. Bye!